And I know already what some of you are going to say. You're going to say that you gotta be absolutely crazy to uh, pay so much for a camera. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulonto and I'm a photographer. And in this video, I'm gonna take a walk and take a few pictures on this Leica M11 and the Summicron 35mm f2 lens. But before I walk any further, I'd like to say big thanks to Foca for lending me this uh, fantastic camera. They are the official Leica representative here in Finland. Big thanks. One obvious talking point with every Leica is the price, of course, and I'll come to that a little bit later in this video. But first, let's uh, examine the ergonomics and the size and all that, um, the usability. When the very first Leica came out, like 100, more than 100 years ago, it was the smallest and most portable camera. And uh, while this is still quite compact and portable for a full-frame camera, this is not really the most portable and compact and most lightweight camera by modern standards. When Henri Cartier-Bresson chose his Leica back then, he chose the most portable and uh, easy to use camera. Uh, but today he might not choose Leica, he might as well choose maybe the Ricoh GR3 or maybe he would just use his phone because that would be the most portable and easy to use camera. This combo weighs more than 900 grams. The black version body is about 100 grams lighter, I understand, because it has aluminum parts. This uh, silver chrome is all brass. That's what I understand, at least. But anyway, it's, it's not the most lightweight and compact camera there is, and not the easiest to use either. The ergonomics would improve a lot with an accessory grip and there are many grips that you can attach to the bottom of the camera. And talking about the bottom of the camera, this is the first uh, M series Leica that doesn't have a removable bottom plate. You can remove the battery just like from a normal camera and the memory card slot is here too. Previously you had to remove the whole bottom plate and while it was uh, traditional, like a trademark sort of, it was really impractical and I like this setup much, much more. Oh yes, one more thing about the memory card slot. There is indeed only one card slot, but this camera also has 64 gigabytes of internal memory. And I think that's a really neat feature and I wish small cameras had that. Leica M is the only digital rangefinder camera and that makes it unique, of course. But the rangefinder viewfinder takes a little to get used to. In the best possible scenarios, it's very easy to focus. You just align those two uh, kind of pictures in the viewfinder. But if you have uh, like uh, tree branches, foliage or something, uh, like similar patterns at different distances, it can be quite difficult to uh, focus uh, because you can't be quite sure which uh, patterns to align. Also, the viewfinder window, this part here, it's quite tight for anyone wearing glasses like I do. I can only see the 50 millimeter frame lines and uh, I have a 35 millimeter now, so I have to pretty much guess my framings. Or I can, of course, use the live view or I can even buy, I could buy uh, an external viewfinder for very reasonable 750 US dollars euro price, but 
I think the rangefinder experience is why you buy a Leica uh, for in the first place. And if I put an external viewfinder or use the live view, I might as well use any digital camera pretty much. I just said some negative things about this Leica, but I still think Leica has done a really fantastic job in modernizing their Leica and uh, M Leica and um, digital M Leica. This camera has 60 megapixels, so there is uh, plenty of pixels, plenty of image quality. There's even a GPS unit, so you get the coordinates in your pictures. And uh, this camera has many, many modern uh, features too. But one essential modern feature is still missing, and that is the IBIS in-body image stabilizer, which would be really nice with 60 megapixels, which reveals a, even a minor camera shake. But I understand that there is no room for a stabilizer inside here. And obviously Leica doesn't want to make this any thicker because with the M10 I think they managed to squeeze extra few millimeters out of the thickness so now this and also the M10 are as thin or the same thick thickness as the original film Leica. And now about the price. This combo would cost you roughly about 14,000 US dollars, a little, little bit less in euros. The camera body would be about nine grand US and the lens about four grand US. So this is a very expensive camera, no doubt about that. And I already know what some of you are going to say. You're going to say that you got to be absolutely crazy to pay so much uh, for a camera because you can take those same pictures with any camera. But I think a Leica user might as well say that why would you use some uh, crappy little uh, cheapo camera to take your pictures if you can use a proper Leica? <laughs> If I had enough money so that I could buy this combo, maybe I would choose a 50mm lens, but if I could uh, buy this combo without any kind of financial strain or stress, I would do it right away. But I would uh, not choose this as my only camera. And I bet most Leica users or Leica buyers are exactly like that. This is not their only camera. They have another or several other cameras and uh, they have at least one autofocus camera. Maybe it's another Leica SL or something. And they only use this camera when they need, they feel the need for the real rangefinder experience. But whatever you think about Leica, they are the oldest surviving camera manufacturer and their business is pretty good, I think. So they must have done something right. And they are also a European manufacturer and they have real manufacturing facilities in Germany and also I think in Portugal. And that is a nice uh, exception in this uh, very Japanese dominated business. One of the things that I really love with this and every Leica is the super clean user interface. The camera is not cluttered with all kinds of dials and buttons and I really wish more manufacturers would take this uh, same approach and make at least one camera model uh, that had such a clean user interface. And if you are one of those photographers who think that video is the most useless feature ever on any camera, then this is your camera. You should buy this because this doesn't do video at all.
One other thing I really like is that this camera makes you slow down and it makes you think a little bit before you hit the shutter. It takes a little time to focus and get everything right. And I think it's sometimes a good thing that you slow down and uh, think before you hit the shutter because with most modern cameras you tend to sometimes tend to press the shutter a little bit too easily and just take as many frames as you can. I think now I have walked enough and I've taken enough pictures on this Leica M11 and the Summicron 35mm f2 lens. I hope you enjoyed this little photo walk and my impressions on this Leica. And if you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. There's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland. Thanks once more and I'll see you in the next one.